Who's King James? Uh, he was a king, from what I heard. <laughs> and you are sharp. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit, and, and I, I brought this with me to show some other people later, but this is from the historian, not Muslim. None of these quotes are from Muslims. The historian Michael B. Young, right? who wrote a biography of King James. He said, King James has been described by the historian King J Michael B. Young as the most prominent homosexual figure in the early modern period. James had a relationship with several male courtiers. James' sexual orientation was so widely known that Sir Wa Walter Raleigh said, King Elizabeth had been succeeded by Queen James. Right? You can read this, Catherine Bowen, The Lion and the Throne, this is the book references, right? King James, who was the first for England and I think for something for Scotland, was a known homosexual who murdered his young lovers and victims, victimized countless heretics and women. His cruelty was justified by his divine right of kings. This is uh, Otto Scott, James the first biography, right? And I just brought a few of these. I have these at home. You can read through them about his uh, unnatural dealings with other things, animals, people, all kinds of strange. I no. heard King James is some, some weird stuff. I just never looked into it that far. Right. Like, this is a Christian, David Teed. Teed, right? Um, he is a PhD from Harvard, uh, ordained minister, pastor, Lutheran, head of president of the Luther Seminary, right? He wrote this book about Luke. Right now, look at this. This is from a Christian ordained minister PhD. Right, he says this narrative, Luke, remains as an anonymous ancient document of uncertain origins. We don't even know who wrote it. Right, while the narrative never identifies the author by name or personal history, traditions dated from the late second to early third century. So, you got late second to early third century, we don't even know who wrote this. Right. Then you have almost nothing is known about this person. Instead of our indulging in speculation, it is crucial for us to remember that both Luke and Acts are anonymous narratives, right? That will transition us into Hadith, right? Now,